Hey guys, it is Brother Bronson, and this morning I'm going to be talking about a topic that pretty much is for everyone. Anyone that's ever been sexually active, it's for that person, which is pretty much everyone that exists. Everyone, for the most part, is sexually active that's older. The topic is fornication. Fornication is when you have sex and you're not married. You are not married to that person you're having sex with. For me, it's been about two years since I've had sex. And I'm not saying any of the stuff that's written in here is easy. You know, my job is just to relay the message, just to give you guys the words of God and what God wants. That's my job. I'm, I'm pretty much the mailman. I'm just delivering a message. So let me go to the scriptures. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. So this is the will of God, even for you to be sanctified, for you to be holy and sanctified, you must abstain from fornication. So it's very clear right there. It's the will of God for us to abstain from fornication. And as I said, I, I know that this is actually not easy because I myself... It's been about two years since I've had any sex. So I know I know it's definitely hard. So let me continue reading the scriptures. First Corinthians chapter seven, verses one and two. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. 